Last week in the Nurse Boss Chef. I actually became an entrepreneur on accident. That went on Instagram, on my story, and I was just sharing with people my journey. That was just like, you know, hey guys, did you guys know you guys can do these assignments? And so it just kind of like turned into a whole thing. How did you decide, like, or was there anything that was instrumental in you at this young age making that decision? Being young, so I was born and raised in Ghana. So it was never an option to like slack off. You know, just being raised in a third world country, it's like education is really your only ticket out. So when you hired your mentor or coach, how still did you make your investment? I know you had a big month in your launch. So I want you to talk about that too. Yeah, that's a great question. So I hired my first coach March of 2023. And that mentorship was actually all about how to do a webinar properly. And coaching takes humility because I have I did webinars before the coach, right? It wasn't converting. Like maybe one or two people would join the whatever it was, but it wasn't giving. And I knew I would hear people doing 50K in a webinar, 20K in a webinar. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> I'm doing, I'm running the play, but you're not running it right. You need yeah. a coach. So I'd say maybe, maybe like a month. Cause one thing about me, I'm a very quick uh, executor. Like I, I don't wait. And that's the thing that I have noticed just even being with nurses, coaching them. Nurses, we are overthinkers. We like to analyze. I'm the opposite. Like after like two or three Zooms, I'm trying to run you know the first webinar and so I'd say probably after like about four four or five weeks I definitely I've had like 20k webinars I've had 27k webinars like in a day not even running ads just like running the things that we learn so definitely another thing that comes with coaching is that you have to check yourself as a mentee because a coach is not magic like Dr. Kiana is not gonna magically make it you have to do the work you have to execute. And so there is, and that's not talked about enough. Everyone wants to talk about, what are you going to give me in this program? But it's like you as a mentee, are you ready to be coached? Are you ready to do the thing? And you're going to be scared. Like my first webinar, I called Dion like, I don't want to do it. It's like, and I've done it before, but I was nervous. And like, yeah. people are actually coming They're They're coming for me. I don't, I didn't want to do it, but just be coachable, be coachable, like be ready to run the plays. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's your biggest, I think you had a big day or was it a month or something? A big day. <laughs> a big day. What's your biggest day? Tell everybody what's your biggest dollar amount. This is, this is, you guys, not a flex. I'm not asking her to flex. I'm not asking her to show y'all what's possible. Okay? Yeah. Nurse, Nurse Lois can do it. If Dr. Jones can do it, Crystal do it. You can do it. So tell us. <laughs> so my, my, I've had two big days. My first big day, um, and I actually cried that day. I couldn't believe it. Um, my first big webinar was a 27 K webinar. So I had a 997 offer. This was last year when the conversion was doing what it needed to right. do. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. So my offer was 997 and we had about 27 people join. So it was just crazy because it's like, wow, the, the webinar may, took me like 90 minutes. Granted. A webinar is not like magic either. I had to mark it. I had to do the groundwork. I had to, you know, do the things before the webinar. So that was like my first big webinar. And then I had a huge day, uh, July 1st, 2023. I had my first 100K in a day. Uh, Let yeah, it was, <laughs> it wasn't real. Like it, just yeah. had a, it didn't feel real. It was real, but it didn't feel real. Um, so I was, I had a high ticket offer and that was my first time. Listen, it's different when you pitch in 27, that's nothing. That's like, pitching 97 is like, like a high ticket was a little bit scary. But the beautiful thing about it is that when I pitched the offer, we probably only had, this is going to trip y'all up. We probably only had like 
it was a 10k offer we probably only had like 25 people on the zoom yes. and 10 people took it so yes. i tell people you yeah yeah it was it was really really crazy so i always tell people like you don't need to be an influencer you don't need to be like popular in nurse world or whatever just like start your tribe like I've done 100K in a day with 20 people on a Zoom. Like, seriously, if you just start, the people who are looking for you, yeah. they're like waiting on your offer. Like, they're they're grateful for your offer. I want to talk about how your relationship, if you were anything like me, when you started to bring in this type of money, how did your relationship with money change? Because I think this is really powerful to talk about, especially for our listeners who are still exchanging time. That's so good. I think before entrepreneurship, as a nurse, and most people watching this, you're probably maybe making 100K a year already. So 80K, 100K a year as a nurse, or more if you're doing travel nursing. Before entrepreneurship, I honestly didn't value time like that. Like, it was just like, I was queen of like, I was doing 60 hours, 72 hours, like whatever the OT amount was. I did my calculations, I would pick it up. I didn't value like being home or being present or just like relaxing. And ironically, people think that they're gonna make more money and like buy more stuff. This is like a few days ago, like this past weekend, I bought like my first like Gucci bag of the year. I went all year, you know, nine months, haven't bought nothing for myself. Whereas when I wasn't making the money, I was buying it more. So I feel like now, my my value is just like I love like a, a slow day I love to like hire somebody to run the community so I ain't got to be in there all day like I like like chill and like slowness spending time with my family I go to Ghana every year so it's nice to be able to like last year I took my mom my brother paid for their flight our stay my dad brother so my cousin had a uh, wedding in June so I was able to like fly my dad to London you know, his first time in first class, you know, he's African, so he's like, first, this is not like, he's doing the most. <laughs> he's just doing the most. And just being able to like, do stuff for my family. Cause I don't have kids yet, but I do want kids. I do want to settle down. I do want to get married. But now money just looks like pouring into my family, pouring into the nurses. I'll be doing like $500 Starbucks giveaway in the community, like just to give back and pour. It's less about like the things anymore. That is so good though, Nurse Louise. And it's really good because you are really young to be getting it, right? For me, and Crystal and I talk about this a lot. Like I'm always like, the money is not for me. Like it's, it's not. Like, it's, it's like, I get so much from giving. I mean, it's it's such a, uh, the return is like, I, it, it's invaluable, right? And it's, it's money doesn't look the same to me, right? Like I really don't care about it. Like for real, for real. I know it's a tool that I leverage to create experiences and so my family is okay and all that. But like to retire my mom and have her work for me, that is a major flex for me. Like That's a huge flex. And to be able to pay her exactly what she was making working 40 hours a week. And she, wow. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, those are the type of things that I, I feel like once I started a business is, is what happened. It just kind of, it wasn't tied to my time. I'm I'm more like, I deserve it. It's for me, like you said, buying bags, this, this, and that, when I'm exchanging time for money. Because in my mind, I worked hard. I know that. that. But right. now when I, when it can come, and you know, Myron Golden always says, it's easier to make a lot of money quickly. Right. And, it, and, it, and it is true, right? You did the webinar, you had a 100K a day. Like, it's easier to bring it in that way. But we don't get that when we're working. We don't. This 100,000? five years off of my life over this <laughs> so true. But I need everybody to know that I am bringing it in and I'm going to show it on my external right oh. but it's really that we're not talking about those insecurities that you have on the inside yeah and I started making more money the Maserati when my lease was up I was like oh this 2007 <laughs> when I'm hosting events and all the nurses that come pull up and they range rovers and they miss, I pull up in my next. It's like, yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta say what kind of Lexus. You gotta say what I kind because they're gonna be like, oh, well, she still got a Lexus. <laughs> I, I 
I don't care either. <laughs> the level of not care that I have, like in confidence, because I know where my bank account, I know where my investments are. Yeah. I, like, not to say, I'm not talking about nobody. If I wanted to do one, then maybe I will. Who knows? Whenever time comes, right. then I will. But whatever. But I don't feel the pressure to have to adhere to societal standards. Me too. Like money looks I'm past that. To me, money looks like my kids each have another apartment unit when I leave here, right? Exactly. So that's why I asked you how it changed for you. Because I think, I feel like, you know, when I started being in those rooms with seven, eight, nine figure earners and, um, you know, people who brought in this revenue for their business, they looked like that too. They were like, okay, maybe they didn't look nice because it was a conference, but it wasn't flashy, flashy, like everybody see my, you know, everybody look at my, you know, it was just people were in here trying to learn and be and just grow and serve. And that really changed my perspective a lot. So that's why I was asking you, how does it change your relationship? Even as we were talking, even not nurses, I'm trying to get my friend who has four kids and she's always, you know, like go to this store first and check this out. And then for, you know, to get in daycare, you have to stand in line. I'm like, these are things people would pay to learn. Like you think they're so novice, but please tell me how to get my household with two kids under order. You have your household of four. And so, you know, those listening, just even if it's nothing in nursing, just like you said earlier, Dr. Cole, something you're good at and just start talking about it like Lois did and see how many people you will be so surprised. I always talk about how, like when I started Botox and fillers, I took a, I posted that I took a class and I had so many people interested. And I'm like, you guys realize I just took a class. So I just, <laughs> it's something that they want. So, you know, just like, just start talking about whatever you think you're good at and just see how many bites you get. And then you just, you know, scale it and grow it from there. Attention aspiring entrepreneurs in the healthcare industry. Have you ever dreamt of starting your own successful IV hydration business? Well, your dream is about to become a reality. Imagine a business where you can make a difference in people's lives while building a thriving venture. We're excited to invite you to a free webinar that will unlock the secrets to launching a successful IV hydration business. Join us for an exclusive event where industry experts will share invaluable insight on the essential steps to launch your IV hydration business, building a six-figure business from scratch, navigating the challenges in the healthcare entrepreneurship journey. But that's not all. Attendees of the webinar will get a sneak peek into our comprehensive IV hydration on demand course. Discover how this course has empowered others just like you to turn their passion into profit. Picture this lifetime access to in-depth video trainings, business strategies, SOPs, and exclusive bonuses that can catapult your success. Register now for our free webinar at HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash apply dot true you savvy that's t-r-u-u savvy dot com forward slash training don't miss this opportunity to kickstart your journey to a rewarding and lucrative iv hydration business one thing i would say to anybody listening to this or even you crystal like people are going to be drawn to like you specifically i used to think you know there's so many i i had to check myself i used to do the comparison thing there's so many other nurse influencers I'm not the popular one, you know, I don't have the most followers. Nobody really knows me, but people are going to be attracted, going to be attracted to you just because you are crystal. Like they like your vibe. They like your energy. They feel how genuine you are. And I think that's why a lot of people are really attracted to you, Dr. Kiana. So anybody watching this, like people are assigned to you, like people gravitate towards you. And the second thing I would say is you don't need to be an expert to begin sharing. I'm you have to be an expert to be like a, a high ticket coach. Like if you're going to charge high ticket, you should be expert. But a community, like something like, I started my community after my first strike, my first one. I've done four since, but I'm glad I, I didn't wait till I did 10 to do the community. So that's, people think they have to be like ready. And it's like, if it's like a low ticket or something, you can grow with your audience. There's nothing wrong with that. Just being one step ahead and knowing, you know, I filled out the application, right. so I know how to fill out the application. I just show you. And while you're showing them how to fill out the application, exactly. you're on learning the next thing that you can bring them up. So, you know, Absolutely. you only have to be one step ahead. To... And it is, it's really our, our just insecurity. But here's what people and what you just said, Nurse Lois, that I think people need to make sure I want to reiterate. You have to understand that what 
as you, you'll never be ready. So don't you'll ever be ready. <laughs> and honestly, if there theoretically is a time where you are ready, it's too late. Already. So oh. and to start before you're ready. If you've ever heard of this concept called minimum viable product, and that means just building like a prototype of something. When you get started, you're building a prototype. You think you know what people need, and it's not it started that they'll be like, oh, what about this? What about this? And then you're like, oh, you're, you're, you're focused on serving. So then you grow your membership, your community into what they want, which is really what matters because they're the one paying for it, right? Exactly. So until you're ready, just start, just throw it out there. Like when I started, I said $27 a month. And I was just like, oh, when it was people who I could talk to too. And that grew into something. And then as I started continuing to create more digital products, I'm like, oh, this will be good. This will be good. You know, and it just started to take a shape of its own, life of its own. And, and that's what a lot of people need to realize. So I, I know we have to go, but I just, one last thing. I promise. I'll, I'll I, I just want to ask you about your trip. Because I know you guys just came back from Columbia. And tell us from a business side of that like how did that happen is that from people from your membership or like and how did you start doing these things i know you took them to invest fest one year and then you were gone i love this question yeah i do trips probably like out out the country trips probably like twice a year and it is a part of the community so i always tell people like i don't know if it's a 2024 thing like i feel like any entrepreneur who's listening to this, like, don't be afraid to, like, link up with your community or your clients or whatever, like, in person. Or, like, teach a class, like, in person. Because I feel like with all the different coaches and all the different courses, like, it's getting harder and harder for people to see who's real and who's really, like, who really cares and who doesn't. So I love getting in person with my nurses, whether it's a trip. Whether like even invest us, it was just one of those things like I'm going who want to come with me. So like just even inviting your community out with you, like I don't gain anything from people going to invest us. Like I don't even know them, but they're in the room and then they're sometimes like they need to hear it from somebody else that isn't me. So it's like it's the same thing I'll be trying to tell y'all, but it's like now, you know, this other person is saying it. And then the trips are a vibe. Like I absolutely love our nurse trips that we do. We're actually playing in Cabo for next year and then Dubai end of next year. So I'm very big on like getting in person. Even the LA event that you blessed us with your presence and like just like getting in person. I feel like it builds the trust more. And I feel like it's so slept on. Like community is slept on because entrepreneurs, they will have a community and they drop some gems in there and then that's it. But like my community really, really rocks with me because I see them a lot. So it was like, I, ca I can do 100K with 20 people on a Zoom because it's like these 20 people, they've all met me. Like I've taught them in person, right? They know I'm the real deal. It's not like we just, I send some you know, articles, some videos down their way. Like they're like truly locked in with me. So any entrepreneur who's watching this, or even if you're about to start your community, like be personable with your community. I know it could be a lie, it could be draining. But uh, definitely, if you can delegate all the other stuff and you only got to show up once a month to host a class and then do some trips, uh, definitely. Yeah, I love that. that that's, that's powerful. And it's, it's very true. And again, it's a listening to your market and you know, being there for them. Some people just want to have all these people and not do anything and not show up for them. And honestly, that's what I struggle with in my group is like, I just, I'm always talking to like, how can I serve more? Like, I don't ever want people to feel like, oh, I'm just taking their money. And so I struggle with that. I like over deliver all the time. And I've looked into know, like, I am here for you. I am you. So like, you over deliver, girl. Like, the panel, I'm like, if this is just a panel, like, I can't wait to be a med spa, girly. This is a side note. I can't wait to be um, like a med spa. I see that for myself, maybe 2025 or 2026. Yeah, I know but the. Exactly yeah. And I'm really scared. The way you poured on that panel, I'm like, if this is just like a free panel, like I can only imagine like your mentorship program. So you definitely over deliver. Like you definitely do. Before we leave, I do want to ask you though, for the listeners, yeah. um, you have anything like now looking back, you know, hindsight is always 2020. What are two or three things that you would practical steps that they could take right now to begin their journey to possibly have a, their 100K day or their $27,000 webinar, like what would you say to get them to that point? 
what are some suggestions, some practical steps that they could take? Absolutely. I would say the first thing, they're already kind of doing it. They're already listening to this podcast. Um, The biggest thing is mindset. And I know everyone hears mindset, 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 but it really is the foundation to any and everything. So make sure that you're always feeding your brain, feeding your mind with positivity. You're always learning. So whether that's a podcast, um, a community, anything that will feed your mind, um, I'd say that's the first thing. So if you're not already, join somebody's community, um, watch motivational videos, a podcast, something, because somebody can give you the play. I can show you exactly how I did my 27K in a day. But if you don't feel like you're worthy, if you don't feel like, then you're not even going to do it. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I would say is to work on self. So it's it's a little different from mindset, like really, really going deep and facing yourself, like being honest with yourself. If that looks like therapy, if that looks like I just hired a life coach because I didn't know I was like battling some internal things. And one thing about business is that your personal issues, your insecurities, your traumas, they show up in business. They show up in business because I'm very impatient and it it do be showing up in in business and like you can't lead and you're impatient. So work on self, like journal, uh, face your traumas, like those things. And then I'd say once you do those, hire a coach immediately yesterday, like invest and it should hurt. Don't hire like some, some that's going to be cheap. Like it should hurt because when it hurts and you've done the self work, you're going to execute and you are going to have your results will surprise you. They will shock you. So that's what I would say. I love that. Before we head out, I would love for you to share how they can reach you, reach you if you have any open, any, I know you say you're not taking any new uh, clients, but when plan to or anything just give us all the deets awesome awesome thank you all for having me thank you all for listening to tap in with me on instagram it is the nurse lois and it's lois like l-o-i-s you can find me on youtube y'all gotta hold me accountable because i'm not as consistent with youtube but you can find me on youtube at nurse lois if you want to take advantage of your free seven day trial just dm me on instagram and i'll send you the link for your free trial as far as programs, my doors are set until February. It's kind of like my self-care. Um, yeah. an entrepreneur. Oh, so February 2025, y'all, y'all could DM me about that. All right. I love that too. And you have to prioritize. You have to. I feel like being a coach, I, I use the analogy, is like we're like a socket that people continue to plug into. Oh, oh, you geez. have to refill your cup. You have to refuel you have to re-energize whatever you want to call it. You must. And to me, if you don't, it's selfish because you really can't serve to the highest level. You can. So. You can. Right. Oh, girl. Because we've had that. We've experienced that too. So you don't want <laughs> that coach either. Like, girl, what? Yes. Because <laughs> something it brings out to you. <laughs> I'll be thinking that sometimes. So I'll be having to take a little break take a break awesome 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 we went way over so i know it was a mom podcast thank you so much for joining those who are listening don't forget we are on youtube nurse ball shit and we are also on all things podcast so at apple and spotify do not i don't see that was an old senior moment right there do not yay people share with others you guys we are continuously working on the back end to try to give you guys value so you can see what is possible all right. These are everyday people just like us who had a plan to be nurses, nothing past that, but dare to venture out and be bold and step into their greatness. You can do the same too. So make sure you share this podcast, comment, you guys, any ideas of other podcasts that you would like. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.